Hello. So today I want to discuss about a problem that appeared in Emo 2013. It looks like a problem on system of equations, but it's really a nice application of polynomials and VHS relations. So this will give you how to solve this type of questions using polynomials, and it also involves inequalities, application of inequalities and polynomials. At the end of this video, I will give you a similar type of problem that requires inequalities to solve polynomial problems. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances and research projects for school and college students. So let's begin. We are given that a, b, c, x, y, z are six positive real numbers satisfying x plus y plus z equal to a plus b plus c, x, y, z equal to a, b, c. And we have an inequality that a less than equal to x, less than y, less than z, less than equal to c, a less than b less than c. I have to prove that a equal to x, b equal to y and c equal to z. So let's begin. From the given expressions x plus y plus z, x, y, z, it really reminds us of VHS relations because VHS will, if I take a polynomial in some variable with roots x, y, z, then sum of roots is x plus y plus z. And we can relate it by the coefficients x plus y plus z, x y plus y z plus z x and x y z. So proving a equal to x, b equal to and c equal to z, proving this is same as proving that these two polynomials say in variable t, t minus x times t minus y times t minus z, I have to prove that and this polynomial and this polynomial t minus c into t minus b into t minus c these two polynomials are equal like this is an if and only if condition like it's equivalent to prove this and we'll prove using polynomials because it really looks like vietas relations should be a lot of useful here so let's see so for that i define a polynomial f to be f of t is just difference of these two things t minus x t minus y times t minus z minus t minus z t minus b into t minus c what is my target to prove that f is the zero polynomial that f is identically zero now let's see what is the coefficient of coefficient of t squared and coefficient of c both are monic polynomials, so coefficient of t cube is just 1, so t cubes are cancelled out. So here t cube, here t cubes are cancelled out. What is coefficient of t squared? Coefficients are denoted in this bracket notation, it's a common notation. Here it is x plus y plus z. And here it is a plus b plus c. The sign doesn't matter because sign are same like minus x plus y plus z it should be. whatever but x plus y plus z and a plus b plus c are same so t squares coefficient are same so they are also cancelled and the constant terms are just x y z here and here constant term is a b c these are also cancelled so what we have left after simplifying f if it is a cubic polynomial, so leading terms are cancelled out, terms of t square are cancelled out, constant term are cancelled out. So only the linear part is left. So only multiples of t is there. So if t is some k times t for some real number k. And this holds for all t in R. Now what is my target to show? To show that f is identical is 0, it is enough to show that k is 0. Now, how can I show that? We haven't used these things. We have used this, this 
conditions we have used them but we haven't used the inequalities now let's try to deal with the inequalities let's say what is my f of a f of a is just this part will be cancelled out so this is a minus x into a minus y into a minus z now a is smaller than x a is smaller than y a is smaller than z so a minus x a minus y and a minus z are both negative this is negative this is negative this is negative so multi multiplying three negative numbers is negative at least i mean it's less than equal to zero so f of a was just my k times a so from that we get that k times a less than equal to c but a is positive we know that so we get that k is less than equal to zero now it's enough to show that k is greater than equal to zero because we already got the less than equal to zero so together with greater than equal to zero we'll conclude that k equal to zero for that what can you do take the bounded inequalities a is smaller than x and y and z all of them and c is bigger than all of them so now it's convenient to consider f of c f of c is what c minus x into c minus y into c minus z and c is bigger of all of them so these are all non-negative so this is greater than or equal to 0 and f of c is just k times c so from that we get that k times c greater than or equal to 0 and we already know that c is greater than or equal to 0 so k, k greater than or equal to 0 also must hold so k greater than or equal to 0 and k less than or equal to 0 both simultaneously holds and they together imply k equal to 0 so that means that f is identically equal to 0 because if it was identical equal to k times t and k is 0 so that would imply if it is identical equal to 0 as if it is a 0 polynomial now we can try to do a lot of things we have f of a equal to a minus x into a minus y into a minus z And that is zero now look at the inequalities carefully y is strictly bigger than n z z is also strictly bigger than n so a minus y and a minus z are strictly negative this is strictly negative and x is greater than or equal to a so this is less than or equal to zero so only possibility that it becomes zero that x must be equal to a because this is the only term that can be zero because all terms are strictly negative that means x equal to a must hold similarly in fc fc was c minus x c minus y into c minus z and from the inequality c is bigger than y, y and x both strictly bigger than so c minus y and c minus x are both positive c minus z is non-negative so f c equal to 0 this holds if and only if c equal to z so we got x equal to a equal to x and z equal to c now we already had that they are non non-zero reals and we already had a b c equal to x y z a plus b plus c equal to x plus y plus z and c equal to z a equal to x easily gives me b equal to y so a equal to x b equal to y and c equal to z and we are done as promised i will give you a similar type of problem that is a problem on polynomials but it involves inequalities so
the question is p of x equal to ax cube plus bx squared plus cx plus b is a real polynomial. Says that mod of p of x is less than or equal to 1 for all x in R such that mod x less than or equal to 1. So if my mod x is less than or equal to 1, mod of p of x is also less than or equal to 1. You have to prove that mod a plus mod b plus mod c plus mod d. This is less than or equal to 7. So try this out on your own. If you have found the solution, you can type that in the comment box. And if you are interested in polynomial problems and solving using inequalities and similar type of problems, follow the channel regularly. There will be a lot of content. Thank you. Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.